What's going on guys, my name is Jeremiah Davis and I've got the brand new Vivo V25 Pro and today I'm gonna to be walking you through how I shot my last film using this phone. The first location is right now, it's five in the morning here outside of Los Angeles. We got a hot air balloon behind us and two skydivers. So, uh, Joel, you're standing by for the drop. All right, brother. Have a good one, boys. This is All on right, you. Everybody, whenever you're ready. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay, so we just got back from the hot air balloon skydive jump. We had so many different cameras going because the jump is so short, you know, once they jump, they're gone. So although we were using a phone to shoot this, which we haven't done before, it did feel a little bit familiar because we were shooting on 4K. One of our skydivers was looking back at the hot air balloon with another jumper out. He was shooting wide. Our other skydiver had a selfie camera going on. He got a cool shot of him exiting the balloon. And then when he was under his parachute, you know, just cruising around, he had that selfie angle. And it's just really exciting to land from a production like this, have so many different angles immediately available on our phone. Another feature to mention about this shoot was the HDR video. The iconic shot with hot air balloons when you're skydiving out of them is the videographer that leaves the basket first, facing back up to the balloon while the skydiver is jumping at them and seeing the balloon in the background is sort of like this really vibrant sort of gut dropping feeling that you get. And so to have the HDR video to really show all the different colors and the dynamic range in this shot is pretty cool that we're getting that out of a phone. Drew's hat like perfectly matches the balloon. We are here at a new Stop location. That. We got some break dancers behind me. We're gonna be testing out the stabilization that. that is built into this camera along with the wide angle lens. I'm super excited Stop for this that. action. I'm gonna be getting up and close and personal with these guys. Check it out. Stop that. Yeah, I heard shots in the noise. The reason why I was really excited to shoot with break dancers is because visually it just is smooth and it flows together. I love that visual representation um, because on the phone we're going to be showing off the stabilization in this moment and I wanted to test that. We're just shooting mostly handheld, filming these break dancers and having the stabilization give us this smooth cinematic shot while also the talent is dancing in this smooth and cinematic way. Uh, was really exciting and I thought it just visually paired really nicely with the stabilization. The other feature that really came in clutch at this location was the eight megapixel wide angle lens. I'm kind of in love with the wide angle. I didn't think I was gonna, but it's awesome. I love that you're able to lock the exposure, which is really important in something like this to give it that cinematic feel. <laughs> probably look kind of dumb moving around like that, but that's that's how you know you're making something awesome. If you're filming, you look a little dorky, so how you know you're getting the best shot. We got another massive day ahead of us. We got two shoots today, the first of which is a band. We're here, we got three different band members that are coming along, and I'm just gonna be shooting a variety of shots, all with a V25 Pro. One thing when I'm shooting bands is that I usually carry two different camera bodies and one is for photo and one is for video and so I, you know, I was shooting with the video and then to be able to just switch over to a photo mode, use the built-in 64 megapixel ultra sensing camera and just snap some photos, switch it back to video and continue shooting was really awesome. Something I didn't even know about the phone before going on set was the fast charging on this thing. It's a 66 watt flash charge. You plug it in and next thing you know your battery is just basically topped up all the way. And so we are on to our next location. We got a stuntman that's gonna be doing some wheelies on a motorcycle. He's extremely talented. I've actually personally been wanting to shoot with them for a really long time, so I'm really excited. So this whole week we've been shooting with a team of four people. I've got my friend Nick Dean, I got my friend Jake Irish, and I got my friend Matt Tess. And we are all just kind of running around, helping each other uh, get the shots, coordinate, help out with parking, organizing different talent and some of the shots, and it's just been a blast. This is awesome. I've wanted to shoot this for so long. So simple. So simple. The dopest photo on the wide angle lens. 
flipped it upside down and hit the shutter. Literally the first try. I'm coming back home. Right back where I left because I know my people needed me. Diamond in the rough, I don't know what it is they see in me. Go down as a legend in my city because we beat the dreams. Trying to spread the wealth around the block. No, I can't keep from me. One of the guys, Jake, that we're working with, you know, he's swiping through the content that we shot and he's starting to realize that there's this 3D curved edge screen. And he's looking at these photos and he's like, why do they look so good? And, and we all kind of just realized that it was this edge to edge display that was making the photos just like come to life. So right now we're shooting the skate section with Laura, who is our amazing longboarder. Dances on a longboard, doesn't just ride it like a normal person would. What do you call it? Is it a skating, dancing longboarder? What, what's uh, the, what's longboard the, what's the, dancing. Longboard dancing. So this thing has color changing glass and we knew this was a feature, we wanted to show it and we didn't know how dramatic it was gonna be or if it was something cool or if we would actually care about it in direct sunlight. If you actually stare at it, you can see it changing colors and I've never had a phone that sort of morphs to a different look and I actually really liked it. that we shot is a group of friends in a Jeep and they're just hanging out. The top is off, the side doors are off. They take a lot of photos, a lot of selfies together. We use the AI HD portrait. Basically just makes all your selfies look crystal clear. It sharpens it a little bit. Another cool feature that's both on the front facing camera and the back facing camera is the AI retouching that's built into these cameras. Basically, that just helps you retouch your skin texture and your skin complexion. Normally, people go to alternate editing apps to do this, and it's all built in. While it's doing everything else I just mentioned, it's got 32 megapixels to shoot all your selfies crystal clear. Basically, two and one. So the same group of friends that is in the car cruising around, we see them also in Chinatown. And this was really fun because all of them were really good friends and it was just a really good time hanging out. It didn't feel like work. It didn't feel like I had a ton of gear with me. We shot a lot of content here, a lot of photos, a lot of video, all just maximizing the full capability that this phone has in night low light scenarios. The first of which is real time extreme night vision. And now this basically is showing you in real time a really bright scenario on your phone so you can see everything that's going on on your screen versus other phones basically shooting uh, a photo that looks dark on your screen and then it brightens it up later after the fact after you shoot it. The feature that blew me away, the night mode on the camera just outperforming my expectations. Like we were supposed to shoot with that mode for the project and I was doing it for the project and then when I got to see what it was actually doing, I was blown away. The phone was really doing a great job at making all of the night scenes look super smooth, not too grainy or noisy. It just looked super high quality. So just adjacent to super night video mode is the night portrait mode. And this is basically photos at night where you want a little bit more of light on your face. You wanna brighten up the background and this mode is gonna do that for you. And on top of that, you can add in the bokeh flare portrait mode, which basically allows you to add more depth of field to make your subject pop a lot more. It brings out the skin tones a lot more and just overall a lot of clarity. So we just wrapped our whole entire shoot. The V25 Pro was awesome to shoot with. We had a jam packed week and it didn't feel like one. And it's because I showed up with a simple phone and it crushed it, met all standards. Viva, well done. <laughs>